all who are willing. Sadhguru's life is an invitation to the divine through individual transformation. Welcome to the silent revolution of self-realization. I know that my father is dying, he's old, but, and I would like to talk to him about it, but um, I think it is totally unacceptable in our society. The moment a person is very old and you know he's going to go, you leave him even before he's dead. Why can't we talk about death in a positive way uh, in our culture? If you avoid death, you will avoid life also. Only that person who is willing to die can live totally. One who tries to avoid death will naturally end up avoiding life because what you call as life and death are not different. Right now, you are living? Are you living? But actually we can say, right now you are dying, slowly you are dying, one day it will be complete. Isn't it so? The process of death is on right now. You are actually dying, one day the process will be complete. No, no, I understand. Now, uh, that too in India, being born in India, if you avoid death, then you don't know anything about your culture because this very culture springs from being reminded of your death. See, only when you remind yourself of your death, you will turn spiritual. If you think of God, fantasies will come in your mind. No spirituality will come. Only when you realize, when you become aware, when you remind yourself, I will also die one day. Now, a search comes, okay, somebody is around you right now, as much alive as you are, they were everything to in your life, suddenly one day, phew, they're gone. When they fall dead, you think, oh, maybe he's just sleeping, maybe he will sit up now, maybe some miracle will happen, you know, mind will work like this. Then you know, once you cremate him, you know, this is it. This person who was so alive, who was life like you, suddenly just evaporates and wherever you look, he doesn't seem to be there, gone, just gone. And you know the same is true with you. Right now, you are going about doing your act, one day you will be gone, just like that. Once you are conscious of this, then naturally you will want to know, what the hell is this all about? Isn't it? Then spirituality begins. Only when you become conscious, only when you're reminded of your own death, you will become a seeker. When you think God, you're not a seeker. You're just looking for more foolish nonsense in your life. You're looking for more greed and more nonsense and more something else, easier way to get things. Isn't it? Only when you think death, you turn spiritual, you seek. So, not just to the old people in your house, to the very young children in your house, you must remind them consciously, all the time, very casually, not as some great doom is going to come. Death is not doom. Death is just a natural process of life, isn't it? You must tell your children always, this is not an endless game, this is a brief game, you know, small picnic you're having here. You're going to be dead one day. Now, if you're aware of this, now I'm not talking about celebrating it. That's not the point. See, either you try to fall this way or that way, that's the problem. See, people try to avoid it or people try to celebrate it. Now, you don't have to avoid it you don't have to celebrate it. If you're just aware of it, it liberates you. If you celebrate it, you try to glorify it, isn't it? Naturally, your emotions will glorify it, isn't it? That is what? That is a misunderstanding. It is a misunderstanding 
that you try to celebrate life or death. If you are aware, everything is the way it is and it's too beautiful. It's just fantastic the way it is, the intricacy of life. You don't have to enhance it by your celebration, nor can you bring it down by your gloom. Anyway, it goes on in a grand way. You don't have to celebrate, you just have to join the celebration. <laughs>